Collingwood would start the 60s with another finals campaign under skipper Murray Wiedemann. Ray Gablick had put together a mighty season and would take the Copeland Trophy, but the finals would be an anti-climax. After finishing fourth, they would come from behind to defeat Essendon in the first semi-final. His kick goes right down into the full forward position where it dropped over the back as O'Dwyer swings his left foot as he is slung, but it's one point only. And I just couldn't pick that player. It's down in the centre half forward position. It's been handballed out wide to Hutchison. He comes down the ground now and he steadies it, but he's hooked it over. But it goes to Dwyer and Dwyer takes a nice mark. That was a nice one as he was tackled solidly by Harvey. And he took a nice one in that full forward position. He's only about 30 yards out straight in front. And it looks all right. The crowd are going mad. There's one to Dwyer. Forward flank for Collingwood on the outer side. It's Gale and Wiedemann. Oh, Gale gets the knock. But it's O'Dwyer again at the back of the pack. His left foot kick has gone over into the opposite forward pocket. Position where Harvey all but took the mark. As it's the Collingwood player hooks it back as Harvey goes for it once again with Wiedemann. This time it's Turner. His kick goes down. That's marked safely by Henderson. Identical scores, eight goals, ten each. Oh, anybody's punched that, but Harvey took the rebound. It's, it's O'Dwyer this time, breaks away. His kick right up into the full forward position. Finish at this stage with Collingwood attacking constantly in these last few minutes. The ball straight up the centre of the ground now as O'Dwyer once again puts Collingwood into play. It's over the back. Well, man's having the better of these ruck duels in this last quarter, as you can see. It's over the back now to where it's Harrison. He picks up handballs to Dwyer and Dwyer's left foot. It's only one point, Dar. Side of the wing. I think every player's on the other side of the ground. Yes, unfortunately, it's developing into a bit of a scramble, Jeff. It's a pity, really, for a big crowd such as this when they expect they got good value for their money last week, but I'm afraid they're not getting it today. The kick has come up into the full forward position, but still has played a good game for Melbourne. It's oh, just past Adams as Bob Johnson has a lunge at it, but it's uh, O'Dwyer comes through for Collingwood. His kick goes up onto the half forward. It's been kicked off by Taz Johnson over to where Keneally, oh, the Keneally and Dwyer both overran it. Dwyer got back first, picked up and put it up into the forward pocket where it's marked by its Beers for Collingwood in that forward pocket position. Would be a comparatively easy shot on, would be about 40 or at least 35 yards out on a very slight angle. A good kick beers should not have any trouble with this shot. Looks a nice one, but it, I think it may have drifted over. It's one point only for Collingwood. And now to uh, oh. see that the crowd don't get on at the end of the game. Dwyer breaks away there, but he puts it over in the centre wing position. But the condition. 